Hello and welcome back. I am Robot Genie and we are here playing Crusader Kings 2 The Solenki Empire Yep, and uh Yeah, so this this ruler has used up a lot of his special things. Uh, we can't declare any uh, subjugation wars until he dies uh, Really, we're just looking to grab a few more provinces over here <clears throat> and kind of uh, solidify our control and stuff Make some money, build some things. That type of thing. And uh, maybe get attacked, I don't know. I don't know if we're, anyone's gonna fight us or not. We're just gonna upgrade stuff. Upgrade stuff and hang out. There's not much else to do right now. <clears throat> so we're speed five minutes. Wow, we just gained like 300 gold really fast. That's nice. Ali! The, uh, the state of Ali. I've never seen that before. Uh, the Byzantium Empire. Very big. What else we got? It? The Umayyads, they're, do they're doing uh, pretty solid. I've never seen Galich before either. Oh, there's Prussia. Look at Prussia. Huh. Interesting. We got Persia over here. That's nice. Uh, I think this just switched from Safarids to Persia. <coughs> Persia just came like out of nowhere. Now I'm gonna, you're gonna go into the oblique. Uh, I'm not having here. Am I still having kids? Holy crap. Oh no, no, that was like, that was one of my, that's like a grandkid. Yeah, I was gonna say like, I don't wanna have any more kids. To be honest, I just wanna die. Oh, you know what? We should cancel this learning thing because I think we went. We've already gone through all of the, um, all of the. Uh, what is it? The triggered events. We'll just cancel it and then redo it. We'll have more triggered events. So. Now, I, I, man, I want to grab Punjab. That'd be that'd be a prize. We already have a pretty big empire here. Pretty sweet. Uh, Denzing is too big. Uh, that's because we just finished construction of a new city. Uh, so we're going to give away this city here. The city of Gan. Whatever. Gan whatever. Uh, my heir can have that. So uh, Grant landed title here. Would you like uh, a city? He's like, uh, yeah, sure, I guess. I guess I'll take a city. Okay. Yep, have a city. And... We're gonna start uh, making this this city over here really rich. I uh, begin my research. Cool. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna send the poor <coughs> the poor dung gatherer over the cliff. In your quest to build a flying machine, you spend countless hours with dusty old tombs and parchments in an effort to learn about all the failed attempts to fly. At least you repeat their mistakes. You are finally at the point where you. Feel you can begin construction of a prototype. Oh, it will certainly be successful, I'm sure. They need like a an event that almost never fires. It's like you discovered you discovered flight. You can get like aircraft in the year 900. Uh, yeah. Let's get the local dung gatherers, dog dung gatherer, and dogs boy. Oh, he fell off the cliff. <laughs> Hurry down to the wreckage, and uh, he's he's bruised and battered, but alive. Your flying machine was a failure, and to make matters worse, another scholar has allegedly made his own functioning prototype. The dung, the the uh, dung boy, you know, he has a plan. So, uh, so let's hear it. Let's hear it, dung boy. What's your plan? Uh, oh, he tried his plan. He steal, stole the rival scholar's flying machine. He brings it to the cliff and uh, promptly vanishes off the cliff. All right. Well, there we go. We got we got our learning. That's that's good. Let's uh, study intrigue now. <laughs> the poor dung boy. He's uh, he's dead. We aren't too concerned. So I do trade practices. Let's get some trade practices. Uh, 
Did I not just upgrade trade back? Oh, it has to be three. So that level was kind of meaningless, huh? Oh, I think we probably weren't universities. And by probably, I mean almost definitely. But uh, that's a lot of money. So let's continue to buy things that make us money. Wow, we, we do, we actually have a lot of money. Let's see, uh, let's go to our previous capital here. And we got all this. We should build another castle here. And then we can have three castles and fully upgrade them all. And then keep on training here. And it'll be pretty awesome. Get a lot of, get a lot of uh, men here. Probably want some heavy infantry. Although the war elephants, war elephants. Yeah, I do kind of want some war elephants. It's a lot of money. Let's just go for the heavy infantry and pikemen. It's not as much money. I don't really care about castle fortifications. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, can we make any more uh, castle walls? We can't build castle walls that are built here yet. I don't really want to upgrade any of those. But over here, so what's going on? Get a militia training ground. Nah, that'd probably be all right. I don't, I don't really want it. Just rather wait. No, I might get this one though. Let's, let's finish doing stuff over here. Uh, city walls, yeah, give me some city walls. What else can I build here? Just, just infantry men and stuff. I mean, having fortifications might not be terrible. This place is gonna be worth a lot of money. You can steal a lot of money from my, uh, from my capital here, if you want to. Diplomatically refuse. What happened to me? Am I like infirm or something? No. Uh, the rise of the Shia. Alright, good. Good, go fight amongst yourselves. I don't care. I don't care what you're doing. Over there. Barracks has been built. Alright. Let's see what else we can build. Uh, I guess uh, a stables. Oh, we can build the castle town here. Uh, we'll build the stables up. Wonderful. We're getting more and more tech. That's uh, that's also good. Let's see, we're almost done here. Wow, we just made that extra 150 gold. That's pretty good. Let's build another port. Uh, farmer's word against the courtier's word. Uh, the, against the courtiers about damage caused to the farmer's house by a cow owned by the courtier. I think the farmer should be compensated. He's not happy. I don't care. That's my decision. Decision's been made. <coughs> I think that one's randomly good or bad. Soon we can have uh, more retinue. That'll be good. More retinue means more archers. Continue to make bunches of cash. Now, let's see. If I get another, um, if I build another keep here. What can I give away? I can give away this. Give away this duchy. Yeah, we're gonna join the service go servants gossip. We have not been able to. Uh, yeah, he only has a 4.5% chance per year of fabricating a claim. It's really low. We're gonna switch him here. All right. Yeah, we're. 
we're completing constructions. That's good. Uh, not here, apparently. It is, uh, it's up here. Uh, so we can do a barracks. We kind of just won't maybe do the War Elven pen. Let's just do upgrades. Just want to upgrade things. Uh, I'm going to do Castle Town here. How much money am I making? 25 ducats a month? And that's pretty good. Can't really, can't really complain about that too much. Let's build the town market. Although I, I could be more greedy. Oh, we already finished the fortifications here. We did. Let's build the build the keep. After these are built up a little bit, we'll build another uh, castle here. There's no rush because we're already at our max limit. Maybe we should even wait until our dungeon size increases. And we don't have to give up anything. But we'll have to give up this eventually because it's not in one of the main duchies that we own. And and so people are going to want it from us. In fact, somebody probably already wants this from us. Uh, we might not hold this duchy title, actually. I think, uh, oh yeah, we don't own the, this duchy title. So it's not an issue right now, but it will be an issue in the future. We'll have to get rid of it in the future, but uh, we don't have to now, so let's not. We can probably upgrade some stuff in our home place too. Because I believe you'd get some passive benefits just for being your your home area. I think it, yeah, I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure you do. Get some, just get some passive benefits. I do just want to focus mainly over here though. Because we have a lot of, a lot of buildings in one place. Uh, go for castle fortifications. And what do we have here? Uh, I guess maybe war elephant pens. Yeah, sure. We have enough money. We're spending tons of money, but we're also making just tons of money. So much money. Uh, who died of pneumonia? Ruler is unmarried. Oh, we lost uh, Denzin Limit because <clears throat> he's unmarried. Oh wow, we're gonna get this uh, this strong woman here. Yeah, get her. Maybe she can have a kid. Problem is, our sons are getting old now. Like he's he's already 33. <laughs> That's the problem. He's like never gonna get to rule because he's gonna be just like too old. So maybe she can have children and have another son, and uh, perhaps we can have a strong, quick son or something like that. That'd be great. Uh, we're gonna go study technology over here. Let's see, how much till I can upgrade to legalism again? Uh, we're not gonna gain any dens in size, but that's fine. Yeah, we won't gain anyone on the next time the time after we will, so maybe I should just uh, chill for a little bit. Because the, the short rain difference doesn't matter so much to me. If we get Emperor, uh, we'll be better off. But I don't see us getting an Emperor, the uh, Emperor title of Rajasthan anytime soon. It's going to be a couple more um, rulers we're going to have to go through. Because, I mean, we grabbed a huge chunk of land with that cast ability this last time. And we probably will be able to do it in Punjab next time. But if it, no one has consolidated the land in these other areas, like uh, when we go to try to grab Delhi, for instance, if it's not consolidated under one empire, it's going to take like a whole bunch of wars to actually get it. <laughs> you know? So, which is obviously a problem. 
because that, that's a whole bunch of different rulers it'll take. I can imprison him. It's my son. I'm not imprisoning. Oh, right. I can, I can build more stuff. That's <laughs> Whatever, let's build more stuff. Uh, yeah, we can make even more money a month. So that that's that's good. We'll do that. Uh, okay. Do it. At some point here, we'll get university. Now we don't need anything else there. What's over here that we can get? Uh, we're still building more elf and pens. Uh, we need to do a keep more elf and pens or barracks or. Uh, let's do war elf and pens here too. Get those, get those war elephants. They're super strong. So. What's our military look like? We almost got 11,000 men. Oh no, we have more than that because we got to include this too. So we have like 12,500 men. That's, uh, that's quite a bit. If only we could have fabricated another claim, that would have been really nice. Oh wow, this guy is a little bit better, huh? Yeah, he is my grandson here. Let's, uh, how about you fabricate a claim? I could convert to local culture. Why would I convert to local culture when, oh, my culture is Rajput, and look at that. <laughs> it's everywhere, Rajput is everywhere. Because this guy, the guy that owned Raj put before, uh, was converting everybody. So we're just gonna leave it, and we're gonna just continue his, continue the old ruler's work. Oh, you know why? Because the leaders of Parathia are also Raj Putin. I doubt they. I don't think they changed over anything. So that's that's good, good stuff. Uh, we can do a technological advance. I'm just gonna leave it. I don't want to do it yet. It makes no difference if I upgrade legalism right now. Uh, we could add more war elephants. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna do that. More war elephants. Yeah, so... I, I'm only picking legalism here. And I'm only picking military organization here. So powerful. Military organization is so powerful. And uh, legalism is pretty good, although not as good as military organization. Military organization is just where it's at. Right here, in economic, I'm going to do things more equal. Yeah, I probably don't have to build anything there. We are making 26 ducats a month. That's good. Good stuff. Just uh, trying to finish some war elephant pens. That's uh, that's good. Uh, who are you? Okay, no, it's not my call. You're. Uh, I don't care. I'm not kidding you. Giving you claims on someone's title. You're not even of my family. Maybe if you're a family member, I would have. Most people don't like the having their family of control and stuff in CK2. But I played, uh, I played through with the Zoroastrians, and I was doing it all the time because you get extra benefits from marrying your family members. So it's better to just have your family members everywhere. And uh, I ended up liking it. They hate you if they have claims on your titles. Uh, it's bad for the first, for the first generation. But after that, you just end up with a bonus because they're uh, they're of your bloodline. And so uh, I think it's good to just put your family members everywhere. I like doing it. You just gotta survive the first the first little bit of switching over rule, which can sometimes be harsh. Like if you have a lot of really bad traits and you're like three years old. Uh, but as Jane, we should never even have we should never have a problem with it really. I don't think we're ever gonna have a problem with uh, with um, with like succession war. I don't see it happening. Uh, we can build some castle walls. That looks, sounds fine. Wait, did I do improve relations? Is that what that guy's doing? No, he's fabricating a claim. 
Okay. That's good. We're making so much money, but I'm so constantly broke because we're, well, we're we're actually really building up over here, which is really nice. Uh, despite not warring or anything all episode, we're uh, we're doing pretty good here. That's one thing about recording. You always feel like you should be doing like warring or something, but especially with CK2, even EU4, you know, sometimes you should just not be doing that. Just chill. So we're just chilling. Uh, yeah. I mean, I like to look around. Oh, France. France. Here we go. France is, uh, exists. That's cool. Good for them. Wait, so since Norway's here, does that mean they're Christian? Oh. No, they're Norse. I guess they their name doesn't change like Sweden's does. Spitjod. Spitjod? I don't know. I think that's how I'm going to pronounce it. That's terrible playing over here. Pronouncing these things. I'm not even playing over here, and now I'm gonna try it. Well, we all know Upland. Upland's fine. Sud Sudmerlin? How about Vestergotland? Uh, actually, I, I know that one. Uh, I don't know. There has to be some. I thought there was some that might have been hard. Anger Angermanland? Angermanland? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not good at pronouncing uh, Indian names, definitely either. These are uh, quite difficult. I have no idea if I'm getting them right either. I'm almost certainly getting them wrong. Ah, oh, no way! Oh, that is such crap. Rate, rate. Ah, oh, I'm so mad. Rate right as we got that other, that other claim right here. I was just about to declare war for two claims. We die. Right then. Right then. Right then we die. <laughs> and this other guy uh, comes to power. What? Oh. This game is such bullshit sometimes. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Alright. Okay. Uh, this is... We'll call it an episode here, because we've done enough time. Uh, so, yeah. If you're liking this series, make sure to like and or subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Later.